I just cleaned off that mess of tomatoes, lettuce, mayonnaise, and mustard off my car. Here are the pics. I didn't do video of it because I, I immediately went into action to clean that stuff off. I wasn't quite sure what it was, but luckily it was just condiment and crap from somebody's lunch, I guess. Um, but they targeted this car, and normally there's a Hemi parked here, and a WRX is parked here. And, uh, yeah, those cars. But no, they target the Holden. Go figure. Luckily, I, it was easy to clean off. I'm just gonna move on. So, a little bit of an issue with these headers, X-pipe and exhaust. Hearing some rattling with, uh, in the back of the car, middle to the back of the car. Usually at low RPMs, sometimes at idle. I've always heard that after some heat cycles, you drive it for a while. You know, it's not unusual for clamps and bolts to come loose. You gotta, gotta, gotta get under there and take a look and tighten someone back down and everything is, is good. There's one other thing I noticed. The exhaust X-pipe section, middle of, of the uh, system is hanging really, really low. Of course, when I want the rattle, on video, it doesn't rattle. <laughs> anyway, trust me, it rattles. I know it doesn't rattle as much when the car's warmed up, but it still does rattle. All right, guys, so here is the X pipe. You can see it's hanging pretty low, and the whole system is actually looks like it's hanging lower than it should. I haven't hit any speed bumps, haven't any scraped anything. So that's not a major issue as of now, but eh, look at that gap. I mean, shouldn't that be tucked in all the way? Uh, I guess I'll have to um, either go to the installer or go to another shop that's closer, closer to me and have them readjust things. I did check some clamps and bolts. I checked all the clamps and bolts. They feel solid, they feel secure, but um, still maybe some things just loosened up over time and I don't have the right tools. Um, to really, or the space or a lift to really comfortably and correctly take this off and realign things. Um, I know the X pipe has a curve and maybe it's flipped over and pointing down, but, and it's because it should be pointing up, but I don't know, maybe, it, maybe it's just everything just kind of dropped over time. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Okay. As far as vibrations, the rattling. I don't wonder if it's this uh, heat shield. I did take off the tunnel brace because this was rubbing on it. Yeah, that's a whole nother subject about the quote unquote safety around that. The tunnel brace is supposed to keep things together on a side impact. Honestly, I don't think that the tunnel brace will do it, but for insurance purposes, I can see why. But hopefully we won't have to test that out, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the bolts, tunnel brace bolts back in here. Cause I didn't do that when I took it off, so let me go and do that. All right, here's another view of the X-Pipe from more underneath it, from a direct point of view. And then from this side, you can still see a lot of that gap in that tunnel area between the X-Pipe and the tunnel. So I think that really needs to be tucked in as a little bit more than that. What do you guys think? Anyway, let's go for a test drive, see if that rattle comes back. All right, so I've been driving not long. Uh, right before I left the house, the the exhaust was was already cold. I could touch it with my hand. And it felt and it was cold, so I wanted to replicate that cold start, so to speak, when you normally hear the rattle. I, I haven't heard the rattle. So all this time, it was probably that uh, heat shield where the tunnel brace used to be. spoke too soon there's, there's still some rattling back there there's one place I haven't checked was the inside of the spare wheel tray let me check that 
Okay, on another subject, I really need to organize this trunk. I mean, I got a nice trunk organizer there, but I need another one. Some mess. What do you guys use for your trunk organizers out there? Leave a comment below. Well, the trunk looks pretty empty. Nothing, no metal in here rattling. Those things. Hmm. Spare wheel feels pretty solid. Nothing rattling. So I've been thinking about what to do next. Definitely gonna get it looked at. And I've been talking to some other SS owners with similar symptoms, so to speak, with their exhaust. And almost everybody has said they've had to go under there and readjust things after they're driving it for a while. The heat, the driving, it starts to move things around. Again, it depends on who, how you drive, I guess, or in environment, I don't know. It, it just moves. Things get loose sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. I guess I'm one of those owners that is experiencing that. I will keep you guys updated if you have any tips or thoughts or comments on if you've experienced, uh, experienced your exhaust systems moving after they've been installed, after driving them for some time. Uh, you know, I got these installed last month in February, so it's been a month, uh, so it hasn't been terribly long. Um, so, so, But it is concerning that it's, you know, it's coming down a little bit. It sounds like all I have to do is get a shop to, you know, take the bolts off, clamps, and readjust, and tuck it under there a little bit more. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll keep you guys posted. See you on the next one. Take care.